Hi everybody and welcome to episode 35. In this episode we are going to go and... Pardon me, we're going to go hit those mines. I've already got my spawn point in my cart waiting for me. I just want to get these boars tamed. Because they're running around my base and I managed to get them into a little enclosure. It's going to be more than enough for them. I don't want them aggro, so obviously I'm going far away from the base. I still need to make the path from my base to the bridge here. I really much would have liked a one star or a two star boar because they would give you the best meats. But I wasn't actually intending on actually doing any taming this playthrough. Well, I was going to, but then I decided against it. And then these guys are like, hi, we're at your base. So I just grabbed like a fence, put them in the fence. And now they're taming. So I apologize for that. Uh, episode 34 being so so short but I was so tired that night it's like I thought oh, I'm gonna play but no like, nah, this isn't gonna happen I just showed you all finishing this bridge here that I got working on the one I'm busy running across unfortunately it does go underwater but we will edit this and make it better it just took a hell of a long time to do it. It just took like two hours. You guys saw me start it. And then I thought, no, this is taking too long. And yeah. So as you can see, it's actually quite far. But with the new snapping system, oh, it is such a dream to build this. <coughs> Because it's like way easier now. And even here I was experimenting a little bit with raising it and everything else which came out quite nice. I'll show you from this side. So yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. Now all I've got to do is put a design and everything else. I also dug out this like walkway so I could always just find my way and easier on the cart. But it is a bit of a walk, this. Uh, but I did say this will be a no portal playthrough, so got to run everywhere. Got to make these paths. You'll notice that in a few points in the path, I actually got a little bit stuck. So like this point here, I couldn't get it to level out. So I was like, no bugger this. I am just going to put stairs. And then up ahead as well, uh, oops, up ahead as well as like I was, came across this massive ravine. So I was like, nope, got to turn wreck. So I doubled back, put up this notice here that says, uh, stay right now. Which takes me down this way. And of course, down these set of stairs. And this takes me all the way around. Yeah, I got my 
key. For a second there I thought I left my key behind. So yeah, the cart works nicely up and down this. I do bats a little bit on the stairs, but that's because of the height. So we must remember that when it comes to taking our cart home. Let's rest up because we're heading into the swamps. Good morning. So yeah, this is like our little outpost. As we've seen in previous videos, me busy building onto this and whatnot. But yeah, this is where we stop, empty our bags, where we're going to store everything. And I actually do not need that and that. I can stay here. So yeah, I did scout this out. Like I searched this whole area and there's only two mines like way back there. And that's where we get our circling cores from. Just waiting for it to get a little bit lighter. So I can see the enemies coming at me. Oh, there's a blub. I don't want to get poisoned and I can't see. It's so dark. That's why we actually slept, but it doesn't look like the sleeping did us any good. Okay, there we go, that one's dead. I was actually hoping to get the better bow, because now we've got all this ancient wood at our base. Remember I came through here last time with it? Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, there's two. No, it's only one. So, yeah. Got to watch out for these leeches, though. That's how I brought so many arrows. some wood, but I didn't bring enough wood. I just gotta be careful where I run here. Other than that, oh, oh, see, I messed up there. Thought I had my bow out. And look at how my health is just dropping like a stone. I'm dead. I thought I had my bow out, so I decided to try shoot it, and I ended up just trying to punch it. <laughs> See, there's another leech there. Uh, gotta get across by need my stamina. Oh great, there's a draga. 
I want no stem, I can't run away from And now I can. Oh, great. Oh, more. Don't stop, you're going to die. Oh, that's a spawn point right there. Oh, man. Oh, look at all of them. Okay, let's do this. Let's get, try and get back to, to the... I can't even turn and fight them. There's just too many. And I'm not wearing my gear. Okay, they went that way. Let's put some gear on. Ah, oh, man, now I'm putting my gear on. is going to kill me. I can kill her, at least one of them. Okay, that's one less we've got to worry about. To okay, where the others go? They probably ran back to where they were spawning. That's the one thing I don't like about this this biome. There's always something that wants to kill you. Is it dead? I don't think so. No. That's dead. I don't fear. Oops. I don't fear skeletons. It's the uh, droggers that hit hard. Change your damn weapon. There we are. I wanted to kill him before he even got close to me. So I can't even stagger him as you can see. Like a skeleton, so I can do a knockback, but drag it. Huh? See, they've got that spawn camp right there, which is actually in the direction that we need to go. Okay, let's get our stem up, and I want to run across. Oh. I don't know why I'm swimming, but I'm not actually in deep water. Oh great, there's another spawn. Okay, let's kill this guy. Let's see, that's a spawning point over there. And there's our goal. This is a difficult place to play in. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> uh. Oh, 
Jeez. They were like just waiting for me, weren't they? I can hear them. See, the trick with doing this place is you don't want to go, like, you want to rush it. So, like, now I've dug that hole. So, I'll pop my head in here. Is it safe? Yeah, it's safe. Continue digging it out. I'm only going to grab what I can carry, so we will be dumping quite a bit of that we don't need. Oh, we do need it, that we don't need, that we don't need. Uh, be right back, I've just got a phone call coming in. Sorry about that, I had a phone call. Uh, see, so yeah, those little paths, I have a feeling this is like an exit. See, there is a way to alternatively do this. Because I am officially weighted. I don't necessarily want to throw food away. Okay, where's this wood? Uh, I do remember correctly, I can build in here. So I want to just place a chest. And that's all I do. Can't place in a dungeon, okay. Do we have to go out? We have to face off those guys that I ran away from. And then we gotta build us a little A little storage hut because to keep running back and forth from here is going to be a pain. Oh, that's what I didn't want. But he's going to die any second. Oh, I wished. Spoke too soon and I'm out of stamina. So I can't use my bow. There we go.
yeah, there is a way of how to like do this in such a way that you can make I do it in one load. And that's like logging in and logging out and going to your private world. And that type of thing, but I don't really want to do that. Like, I doubt I'll be able to mine out this whole thing because I'm already weighted. But what I want to do is just get as much as I possibly can out of it. Because I did bring that uh, part with me. Okay, let's clear out this piece. And then I'll be able to shoot around the corner there. There we go. Oh, and it's a lead dragger too. Stems up, my food is nearly down. See that that's like like a little cheat almost. So that you don't have to rush in here. You can also do this with a like a mallet almost. Uh, I can't think of the name now. Okay, that's that guy gone. Now I never wait for the elite to Come say hi to me. See, I can get in there, but he can't because there's mechanics. Oh, but he can hurt me. So I actually think there might be a spawner in there. Got a solid shot in. See, so he's just out of my. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a spawner in here. See, there's a right there. Okay, let's not die to him. Ugh. The downside's not having stamina when you're trying to fight these guys. There'll always be one when there's a spawner around. See? There's always one. He should now come to me. Or not, he's gonna um, they're just taking chances, that's all I see. See, it's such a nice load. But 
I'm not going to be able to take it all home. So yeah, let's finish this pile. So I can throw away where I can keep. Because the thing is, I've got quite a bit of stamina, so I can run around this dungeon, but I can't really carry the dungeon. We did put this little chest here just for this. Can I take another five? Yes, I can. Okay, so that means... Can I take two? No. One. So now I'm going to make my way back to our uh, base there, so I can drop that off in the dark. I can't fight in the water. And the water drastically slows me down. But I'm trying to get to the landmarks that I've placed. Do I have anything following me? I've got one guy. Because if I can just get, I think like three loads to our, our spot, then things will be good. Like, it's not as much as I need, but there we go, I'm, I'm out of the forest. I can kill what is ever chasing me right now. Here's our camp. So I can't even repair my tools because I don't have a forge here.
Sorry about that. A little bit of absence in voice for there for a second. Oh, now the arrow wants to come out. That's not fair. And then I can shoot the blood from in here. Oh, there we go. Elites in there. This one I can get to easily. Yeah, this is why you never want to like dig straight in. Because they can't get out, except for the archers apparently. But you can get in there. Up, there's a spawner. And this is like the main room. I can tell because there's two mounds. So I'm just going to take what I've got and leave, I mean leave him there. And then we're just going to call it for this video. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Uh, we'll pick up exactly with me exiting this place. So I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Aegis signing out.